There is no greater crime against humanity. This morning, United Nations investigators are accusing Myanmar's top military leaders of genocide against the Rohingya. And they are condemning Nobel Peace Prize winner Aung San Suu Kyi and her government for failing to stop it. The violence in Myanmar last summer attracted the world's attention. It escalated after a rebel attack on security posts in the region, and it led to the exodus of some 700,000 Rohingya. Most are now in refugee camps in Bangladesh. Canada, you may well remember, sent a special envoy, Bob Ray, to those camps. He described it as a very grueling and emotional experience, and he has testified about the horrific personal stories he heard. He's the perfect person to react to the U.N. findings, and we've reached him on the phone in Toronto. Mr. Ray, good morning to you, and thank you for the time. Thank you, Heather. Good, good to speak to you. Good to speak to you. I, I reread your interim report and your final report that you that you put together as Canada's special envoy, and you made it very clear. There is clear evidence to support the charge that crimes against humanity have been committed in Myanmar. This goes one step further in this U.N. investigation, that the general showed genocidal intent, the rarest and gravest designations. What does that signal to you? Well, I think it's a very important finding. Um, I think we've all been waiting for uh, some international body to uh, to clearly state uh, what needs to happen. I think the challenge is um, not only which charges would be laid against which people, but also um, how do we get it in front of an effective uh, tribunal? And and that's really the, the, the central challenge we face right now on this issue of accountability, which is such an important part of the uh, of the challenge we face in, in, in Myanmar and, and Bangladesh. So finding made of genocidal intent, what this report says that the, it, they name, the report names the commander-in-chief of the army and five other generals, and it calls for their prosecution either before the International Criminal Court or some ad hoc tribunal. Um, does that seem to be proper recourse, proper process for this, uh, to hold these people to account? <laughs> Well, I think it's important that, not to quibble, but I think it's important to understand that what the commission has said is there is evidence um, that would support a prosecution. Um, obviously, a finding or a, a definite uh, finding would have to wait for a tribunal. Right. Um, but it's like a murder charge or anything else. Somebody, somebody is accused of something. Uh, there's no question uh, that the, the central challenge is... How do we how do we get this evidence in front of um, some a tribunal that can determine what will happen? And the problem is is that Myanmar is not a um, a, a, a signatory to the Rome Statute, which has created the ICC. Then to do it, but both China and Russia have said that that so far <laughs> that they would not refer this matter to the ICC. So. Uh, you know, we're still not there yet, but this is a very significant report. It's thoughtful. It's carefully worded. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not written uh, in a in an accusatory fashion. It's written in a very um, uh, careful way, and I don't think it's something that the world community can uh, can avoid. And I don't think any of us should should do anything anything else except to do whatever we can to make sure that all the evidence is collected, that all the collected evidence is gathered, uh, and that we are uh, ready to hold people to account and, for the terrible events that have taken place. You certainly, I mean, obviously, just by your appointment, um, Canada has taken a keen interest in this issue and been one of the leading countries acting on it. Uh, in your report, you urged Canada to help find a way that those responsible be held accountable. Now, with this report, what should Canada's role be? Well, we need to continue to, to do what we're doing. That is, we're working with other countries to figure out a way to get this in front of either the ICC or some kind of a tribunal that can hold people accountable. And the, the tribunal that's been set up, uh, the domestic tribunal with some international members, that has been set up by the government of Myanmar, uh, we don't think is going to be enough. Uh, and we're going to have to do more to get this evidence in front of, uh, in front of a, a, a broader-based tribunal. Okay. Finally, I want to ask you about Aung San Suu Kyi, named uh, 
directly in this report that she and the civilian government uh, contributed to the crimes. And mentioning Aung San Suu Kyi specifically, that she did not use her position nor her moral authority to stem or prevent the unfolding events or to find other means to protect the civilian population. She once was the great hope for the West, Mr. Ray, and there have been so many who have been dismayed at what they have watched her response to the Rohingya crisis be. Now, with this finding in this report, what should the response to her personally be? Well, I think, we, we, first of all, I think we have to be, continue to be very clear. Um, the civilian government bears a, a degree of responsibility, uh, not as great as that of the military, because the military actually were in control of all the security events in question. But it's also clear that the civilian government, led by Aung San Suu Kyi as the, as the uh, state councillor, was not able, and we don't know whether they tried, but we certainly know they have not at all been able uh, to provide the necessary protections for the uh, Rohingya population in, in Rakhine State. Um, and just like any other government, they have to be held accountable for that uh, as well. Um, I, I can tell you that the conversations between um, our prime minister, uh, at which I was present in, in uh, the conference in Vietnam uh, in November, uh, and Aung San Suu Kyi were extremely direct and very candid about what what uh, is required, what any government has to do. Uh, every government has a duty to protect its citizens, uh, and clearly in this circumstance, um, the government of Myanmar failed to protect uh, the people who were living in their country. Bob Ray, Canada Special Envoy to Myanmar, thank you, as always, uh, for your time and expertise on this this morning. Thank you, Heather. Good to talk to you. You too.